हॅलो व्ह्युअर्स आय एम डॉक्टर काशीनाथ नेहरकर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर श्री शिवाजी लॉ कॉलेज परभणी महाराष्ट्र आय वेलकम यू इन माय यूट्यूब चॅनल ॲट लेक्चर सिरीज ऑन लेबर लॉज फर्स्ट आय वेलकम यू इन लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ प्रोसेस ऑफ डोमेस्टिक इन्क्वायरी सो इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हॅव लास्टली डिस्कस द stage where the right to cross examination should be given to workman and now we will continue from that stage the next stage is the recording of evidences so friends the inquiry officer must supply the documents including investigation report to workman he must record the evidences and he must submit the copies of such uh, evidences and the statements to workman it is necessary to enable workman to challenge the credibility or the veracity of documents so he should must have the copies by which he can study and he can challenge its truthfulness then next is is the representation the principles of domestic inquiry do not allow any representation of parties by legal practitioner because the rules of natural justice are the general rules and that are uh, very easy to understand here again the nature of domestic inquiry is very informal and it is very simple the questions that are asked in a domestic inquiry are simple and these are asked to ascertain whether the workman has committed misconduct or not therefore this process of inquiry does not allow any legal representation of parties by like the advocates etc so these questions are not difficult to answer so it can be easily understood it can be easily answered but in one of landmark judgment the bombay high court went to observe that nowadays even the employer has legal officers appointed and if employer appoints any legal officer as a inquiry officer then if any workman asks for legal representation then he should be allowed to represent himself through legal representatives like advocates or legal practitioner then next is is findings of inquiry officer actually it is responsibility of inquiry officer to conduct the inquiry to complete the inquiry and to prepare a report of his finding and this report is called as a finding report of inquiry officer therefore the inquiry officer must prepare his finding report on inquiry the officer after completion of inquiry recording of evidences consideration of matter before him he must prepare the report finding report this this finding report contains findings of inquiry regarding the charges it is mandatory for officer to give his findings with a reason if he fails to do so it will invalidate his findings because it is a rule of natural justice that whenever a person is going to give the decision whenever the person is going to make the decision that decision must be supported with the reasons else it will violate the rules of natural justice the inquiry must submit his report to disciplinary authority here the inquiry officer is not the person who awards the punishment he cannot award the punishment himself unless he is authorized so so if the employer allows inquiry officer to pass or to award the punishment then if then it is okay but the general rule is that the inquiry officer must submit his report to disciplinary authority it is disciplinary authority who will take the decision on punishment award of punishment and 
next and last stage in process of domestic inquiries award of punishment and the later of punishment or the punishment later see the disciplinary authority shall take the decision regarding award of punishment so the authority after consideration of report of inquiry officer may award the punishment so that punishment must be awarded as per the standing order of industry it is very important so the disciplinary authority who awards the punishment for reasons recorded in a writing so disciplinary authority shall give the reasons for which the particular punishment is awarded to workman punishment without reasons shall not be valid so regarding that there is case law in state of rajasthan versus mc saxena the court held that disciplinary authority must record the reasons for the award of punishment the disciplinary authority must communicate the award of punishment to workman by letter of punishment there should be specific communication from disciplinary authority to workman regarding what the punishment is awarded to him and this should be done by letter in a writing in reeds theater versus its workman again the court held that letter of punishment should be in a writing and if the disciplinary authority fails to do so it will totally nullify the effect of inquiry proceedings and punishment so friends this is how we have completed the process of domestic inquiry and when the this process is followed and conducted with this step it automatically ensures the fairness in a proceeding and the fairness in award of punishment and it is not going to disturb the industry industrial peace production so the principles of domestic inquiry as well as the process of domestic inquiry is very important for punishing any workman so friends thank you if you like my video please like it if you like it please write comments on it and if you like my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you friends